Good evening, everybody. So I wanted to do a quick update on the Venus OS beta that they've had going for several months now. I haven't really touched on it at all, other than the occasional glimpse in different videos. And I wanted to just kind of show you some of the changes, some of the improvements that they've made over the last few months. I think they're getting close. So let's take a look. So if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, a few months ago I did a video on how to install the beta version of Victron's new display on your Venus OS, your Serbo, your Pi device that runs your Victron system. But they've gone through and made a lot of significant improvements to the display, whether that's allowing it to work on the actual display itself, its speed and responsiveness, lots of different things that they've done. And so I wanted to kind of walk you through some of those changes. Some of it will be on the display, some of it will be on the computer just because it's easier to see on the computer. If it looks a little odd in here, the lighting's a little odd, uh, we're actually right in the middle of a grid outage right now. And my system is running the, everything in the critical loads panel, no problem, but the lights in the utility room are not on that critical loads panel. It's really not worth me spending an hour trying to rewire it all just for the power to come back on. So using the video lights right now, hopefully it works well enough. So if we take a look at the display of the Serbo real fast, they have made a lot of changes. It is significantly faster, even, even compared to what it was when I first installed it. I think one of the biggest things that they did was they allowed this display to utilize this new beta which when I first set it up, there was something going on. I want to say that like the screen wouldn't turn off, but they've since gotten that fixed. They also have added up in the top right hand corner right here, little moon with a few Z's. It's a sleep mode. So you can just tap that and turn the display off. You can see that my propane tank just finally reconnected. It's because it's a long range Bluetooth. It's, it's kind of spotty, but it works well enough for what we need. So it shows here we've got 87% battery, 29% on our propane tank, currently pulling in 192 watts of solar, and we're using 468 watts from the midnight inverter. And you still have your controls up here on the top left, generator controls, inverter settings for your current limit, you know, what's your state of your inverter. And just, you know, overall, it's, it's a whole lot more responsive than the old version. Now I'm going to switch over to the computer because it's just a whole lot easier and clearer to see what's going on with this new beta. So if we look at the VRM, really the only thing that I notice that has changed since the last update that I did, they added this GUI version 2 option in that menu structure on the side. And so that actually gives you access to the beta version of the remote console. Unfortunately, if you're utilizing the beta, you can't use the old version of the remote console as well. You have to use this new version. But things are up and running, things work well, so you really should have no need to access that old style of the remote console. On the right-hand side, it kind of just changes that brief view around a little bit, it stacks the information. So we've got our solar, our AC, and our DC. You see how smooth the transitions are for every button click. We can switch to the overview look. This overview look, you can see they changed how the charging looked because in the past it used to look like bubbles percolating to the top. Now they've got this line. We've got our power flow showing where power is going from and where it's going to. Very similar to what you see in the VRM. And that, that just kind of makes sense. Keeping things consistent, to me at least. 
our levels, we can see our environment sensor and then our tank sensor, 144 gallons left in my propane tank. No notifications. And then the settings area really, with the exception of a handful of changes, everything in here is exactly the same as what you would have seen when you looked at this, the current version remote console. The only thing that they did really was they took all of the components, the Victron components, the Victron devices, and they put them under this device list heading. So in the past, you'd have to click settings and then click settings again before you even got to your menu of settings. So they just kind of streamlined that a little bit so that if you need to look at your devices, they're all contained under one device list. And for any of these devices, you can actually drill down and they'd start giving you more details of production, which I don't recall seeing in the last version of the interface. So we can see 180 watt hours today. You know, yield today is pretty crummy right now. But you can control your relay, see your battery information, look at your history. Even going back 14 days. They're working on some security changes right now. You can see right here, there's the security profile section. They have, they're trying to finalize that. And then really, I'm hoping that that's the last big thing that needs to be taken care of before they release this mainstream. If you haven't seen the previous video and you are interested in switching to the beta version, you'll go to settings, firmware, online updates, and then you'll change this update feed to beta release and then check for updates and install. You can roll back to the prior version with no problems. I've done it multiple times and haven't had any issues. Currently I'm on version 3.50 revision 15, which came out on August 23rd. Some other changes under the display and language, they have a dark and a light mode now. I'm kind of partial to the dark mode, so I'm gonna leave it that way. We can come in here to the brief view levels and you can select what you want to see as the different levels on that brief circle. So we saw on the top one battery and then the next one was our propane tank, but you can change that up depending on what your different configuration is set for. And then you can decide, do you wanna Show the labels, you know, the volume or the percentages. And then down here, you can change your gauge ranges, but they have this auto ranging option so that it can learn what it should be displaying as a minimum and maximum range. And so you can hard code those values if you want, or you can leave it at auto range. And it'll go through and calculate all that information out for you for the best display. And then down here, this is where you can change whether or not you want your, your touch screen to utilize the new display, or do you want it to be the standard old remote console display? You can see I've got it set to GUI version two. And so really, I mean, everything else, I guess they did make some changes to MQTT, and I believe they combined some some options in there. But a lot of this is still the same set of settings. They just had to port all those settings over from the old interface to the new one because it's, it's completely rewritten. So one thing that I do wanna show you, which is really my favorite feature, aside from just the speed of this interface, but this, this is responsive. So no matter what size you make your browser window, it's going to fill that space. So if you remember the old remote console, it always seemed to have just that, that fixed square that you really, I mean, unless you made the browser itself zoom in, you were kind of stuck with those dimensions. But this actually allows to grow based on whatever screen size you're trying to use. So I've got a bunch of old Android tablets around upstairs that I have put these this remote console on and it fits it. 
I don't have all this wasted white space all around the outside. So I have been pleasantly surprised with a lot of these new changes. I didn't think I was going to like them at first, but I think the speed and the responsiveness outweigh everything else for me. Oh, I forgot. So over here on the left-hand side on the brief page, I have three MPPT trackers. My 450-100 has two, and then the 150-35. And so that on this left-hand side here, it's going to give you a visual representation of how much power is coming in from your MPPT trackers. So that's kind of neat as well. So I just wanted to give a quick update on the Victron Beta. They have come a long way, even in the last couple of months. And they're still trying to juggle normal releases with this beta update as well. And so they, they do keep shifting around a little bit what their target release is going to be. But like I said earlier, I know right now they're trying to finalize some of their security updates in this version. So I'm really hoping that once they get those security updates taken care of, but then it might be released mainstream. So I figure power's out. Power is out. <laughs> Perfect time to do an update on something. And I hadn't, haven't talked about the beta in several months now. So if you've got a, a Serbo, if you've got a Venus OS on a Raspberry Pi, take a look at it. You might, uh, you might like some of the changes. Like I said, the biggest one for me was even that speed and the responsiveness. And it seems to load faster even when I'm utilizing it through the VRM. I did want to share that Current Connected is running a special right now through the end of the month. I know we're getting close to the end of the month. Only got a couple more days left, but a free shipping promotion if you have a special coupon code. So that code is going to be Adam, G-O-G, Adam going off grid. You can add that coupon code right on the checkout page and it will give you free shipping through the end of the month. I'll also list that code and a, even a direct link down in the description below for anybody that's interested. But I just like making sure that you guys know about that deal. Because <laughs> that could save you several hundred dollars easily, depending on what you're looking to do. So thank you again for, for watching, for following along, for subscribing, all that fun stuff. Uh, you guys are really what helped make this channel what it is. I can, <laughs> I can smell dinner right now. My wife's making it in the Instapot. And that smell is wafting downstairs, so my stomach is growling. <laughs> so I'm going to let you all go. Y'all stay safe, stay cool, and we'll catch up with you later.